We are the chosen ones. The enlightened few. It was created in we must not question our obedience. Started our we are eager to bow at the steps of his throne, is the most to be judged and eternally life. loved. The land, sea, the whole to submit will be to survive to into the next, into the infinite, the to the beyond. To lay waste to the purpose is to celebrate and become banner we lay down our bodies in order to lift up our souls. With liquid light, we wash away our sins, cleanse our hearts, and free our minds, and be lifted from our darkness. Together we ask, mind to mind, let me know the truth. Eye to eye, let me see your glory. Lips to lips, let me taste of your salvation. Now drink. Are we dead? No. Definitely not. How can you be so sure? Because I'm warm and they're cold. Well, the next looks and feels like the real world. So maybe we just can't even tell the difference. I don't feel dead. Well, why aren't we? Why are we still awake? That doesn't make any sense. Sure it does. They're dead and we're not. Stop it. We just... Stop it, Marissa. I can't believe this actually happened. Okay, what went wrong? Was I left behind? Guess we didn't drink the Kool-Aid. You didn't drink it? Of course I did. You just said that you hadn't. What? I was joking. You're lying. No. You can lie to me, but you can't lie to him. Good to know. So you're lying then? Stop saying that. Why? Because you're lying? You're such a fucking child. Oh, I know you are, but what am I? Last time I checked, there were two of us. What's your excuse? Are you questioning my faith? Only if you're questioning mine. Well, why won't you just tell me? Unless you're afraid of the answer. I already answered. Why don't we say it at the same time? Say what? I'll count to three. What are you... The question is... Did you drink the sacrament? Uh, One, two, Do you really three. Yes. yes! Liar! Happy? No. I'm not happy. I'm confused. And I'm frustrated. Okay, but aren't you glad? Or at least relieved? 
I mean, we're still here. We're alive. Is that another sick joke? What about what we've been promised? What about the afterlife? What if this is it? What if this is our afterlife? I mean, we survived a certain and calculated death. Survived? The mission failed. The technology wasn't real. We're proof of that. I thought I was wrong to question your faith, but clearly I was right. The only faith I see is lying all over this floor. Your doubt has clouded your mind. So has your devotion. You know, I sense that your convictions were weak the day that we saved you. When we rescued you from that pit that you crawled out from. Where? Cincinnati? What? The pit that I crawled out from. I meant your sinful life. I wasn't being literal. Sorry, everyone here seemed to be big on that. <sighs> you are awfully dismissive of the mission. You were with us for six months. I don't seem to recall joining your movement, studying your revelation. You found us, Marissa, not the other way around. That's true. And you know what? I was in a really shitty place when I arrived. Probably saved my life. But it almost nearly killed me. Nearly killed you. Your concept of death is so antiquated. We were elevating your life. We opened up your mind and spirit to whole new levels of perception and peace. And how long did that last? The free love and understanding. When did it devolve into drug-fueled orgies and paranoia? You know, it was great while it lasted, but the party had to come to an end. That's what this was for you? A party? Bennett, I joined this movement to escape a life of hard drugs and meaningless sex. I know it when I see it. But while you were busy seeing, all of the rest of us were trying to achieve something. Something transcendent. I, everything that we practiced, all that we learned, it was to prepare us for the final act. Have you forgotten all that we've taught you? I remember appreciation, empathy, kindness, and forgiveness. I'm not sure I learned anything new. But I began to remember what it was like to be a person, to love, be loved. Your understanding, while manifest, is lacking in totality. You achieved peace, love, empathy, all because of the sacred teachings of the prophet, not in spite of it. Manifest, totality, don't look, Bennett, but your thesaurus is showing. Marissa, you're always joking. You're always deflecting. Look, I understand how you felt threatened, even manipulated by what we were trying we to find. We were manipulated, Bennett. We were sedated. Okay, admittedly often by our own hands. But don't be naive enough to confuse ignorance with truth. You don't create a utopia simply by damning the rest of the world. Okay, we made a mistake in thinking that by simply escaping our shitty families and fucked up lives, that we could somehow build a better one. And it's fucking tragic it came to this, but it forced me to finally wake up. Sorry for the pun. Oh. Oh, now I understand. Now I understand why you did not pass into the next. Your heart is so shaded with doubt that the sacrament never could have hoped to cleanse you. I tried with you, Marissa. I really tried to save you. Oh, fuck off with your pious pity. Okay, you never liked me. You were always proud to be his favorite and you lost your shit because you knew I was a better fuck. I'm sorry, okay? I didn't mean that. But you are so fucking hard to like sometimes. Oh, I think that's why I still might be here. The prophet must have seen my envy. 
as hard as I tried to live in his ways, I was not worthy. Please, the fact that you're alive doesn't mean that God hates you. It means the prophet was a shitty bartender. No, no, there is a reason. There is a purpose. The guy couldn't even hold a job as a barista. Okay, you don't think he could have fucked up the chemistry of killing a group of people? Really? What about them? Some had a little more, others a little less. Oh, like you? Like us. I was so sure that I was living in accordance to his will to his way, but my pride must have blinded me against my sins. I pray that there's still some chance for me, that there's still some chance for redemption. I can't believe that you are actually upset about being alive. Don't you see how fucked up that is? I would rather die for a purpose than live without any. Let's drink the rest of the sacrament! What? You can't be serious. You can't understand its glory until the act is complete! Stay away from me. No, this is the only way! Don't do this! Shh! It's already done. You can't fight divine providence. Come out of the darkness, Marissa, and drink the liquid light! No! Get off of me! No, it's just diet soda! Shh. Just flat diet soda! Hold still! You're wasting it! No! This is wrong! It's not what he wants! It can't be! Ugh. If I'm acting against his will, we will be given a sign! How about the sign where I'm telling you to stop? No! Shh! Coming! Good afternoon, I'm John. This is my partner, Paul. Really? What? And we're here as members of the priesthood, and we'd like to talk to you today about the teachings of the one and only God. Uh, may we come in? Oh, well, after you. 